Unrelenting heat continues to negatively impact the south, and it's about to get even hotter in some states. ABC News' Morgan Norwood has more on the impact of these sweltering temperatures. As Phoenix, Arizona enters day 22 of temperatures above 110 degrees, firefighters enduring the worst heat wave on record after a massive blaze erupted overnight, the explosion sending tanks flying into the air like missiles. We have evidence of propane tanks up to 500 yards past the uh, ground zero where this is actually happening. In Texas, dramatic moments as a baby is rescued from a hot car. The child's father seen here breaking the windshield, pulling the infant to safety. In Jacksonville, Florida, a 10-month-old, the latest victim of the heat. A babysitter now charged with manslaughter after police say she inadvertently left the girl inside a car with temperatures in the mid-90s. It's a tragic case with tragic consequences and will have consequences. Further south of Miami, a city baking for 40 days under heat indexes of more than 100 degrees, while well, they're in for a one-two punch as Saharan dust moves into South Florida, making for hazy skies and even hotter temperatures. The more we become consumed by it, our air quality worsens, then it'll become a bigger risk factor for us as a community. And that sweltering heat isn't the only weather threat. Severe storms and flooding are possible today from Memphis to Atlanta, also into the Northeast. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.